have a good day. Good day, L.A. Beast here. And I've never really understood LeVar Ball and his company, the Big Baller brand, with his three sons who are basketball phenoms. Specifically the hype surrounding his youngest son, LaMelo Ball, who now plays in the NBA for the Charlotte Hornets. But as he was growing up during his teenage years, I would always see on my Instagram feed basketball clips of him, which I never really paid any attention because it never really interested me until about one month ago. As LaMelo Ball, who is now 20 years old, is dominating the NBA by hitting game-winning shots against NBA world champions, wowing the crowd with behind-the-back half-court passes, and not only is he becoming a human highlight reel, but he's also a team player, like alley-ooping it to his teammate through his legs. So what I did because I'm crazy was spend $414 on five boxes of 2020-2021 Donruss Optic Basketball cards, which are boxes that contain LaMelo Ball rookie cards. And depending on the certain prism type that the LaMelo Ball Donruss rookie is, some of them when professionally graded are worth tens of thousands of dollars. Now here in 2021 that I believe the hype surrounding LaMelo Ball is real, the following video is not only my quest to try and obtain a LaMelo Ball rookie, Rookie, but my goal was to also have him somehow autograph it. Will I be successful in my quest? Probably not. Let's sit back and find out. Have a good day! Good day, LA Beast here. And what I have in front of me are five mega box exclusives with Purple Shock Prisms, 2020-2021 Donruss Optic Basketball Cards. And all that I plan on doing right here, right now, is pulling multiple LaMelo Ball from the Charlotte Hornet rookie cards. Why? Because back when I was a kid, I used to rock Charlotte Hornets gear all the time. And here today, on my birthday, I hope to quite possibly receive one of those rare, valuable LaMelo Ball rookie cards from one of these boxes. Now right here, right now, quite honestly, I have no idea what a Mega Box is. I don't know what a Purple Shock Prism is. And I have no idea uh, which cards are the most valuable in these specific boxes. I believe some of the rookies that are more valuable in these boxes include LaMelo Ball, Cole Anthony, Anthony Edwards, and then pretty much after that I know a few base guys in the NBA, uh, and then I have no idea what's going on. Without further ado, I have no idea what I'm looking for besides a LaMelo Ball rookie, hopefully gold, and or purple shot prism. And I have two cameras rolling. I believe there's 14 packs, four cards a pack, times five boxes, times 56 is 280. Total cards. Okay, you know, we're just gonna put all that to the side. You know we can speed things up, nothing's crazy. All right, so, that, so that's pretty much all you get there. Uh, this is what you get, 14 packs, four cards. You know what, there we go. I guess we'll just open it, kind of off to the side so it's on camera. A Luke Kennard, I don't know who Luke, Luke Kennard is. We have a Tyrese Halliburton, a Jamal Murray from the Nuggets, Jamal Murray from the Nuggets. Uh, and then, oh, this, okay, you know what? We need one of these. Uh, we need one of these, like, prism shock things, but the mellow ball. We have a Jackson Hayes, Kobe White, Jason Tatum. Uh, I feel like I've heard of Jason Tatum before, but this is not a LaMelo ball. And then we have a Killian Hayes rated rookie. I do, I do actually like these cards. They're shiny. After opening up the first few packs, I realized that I don't know anybody who plays in the NBA today. And pretty much this entire video of me opening up five boxes of these cards is a video of me just mispronouncing everybody's name. Chris Middleton. We have a Zeke, a Zeke Nanaja, a Zeke, this guy. We have a Jordan, a Jordan Nawara rated rookie. Not bad. No idea who that is. We have this guy. We have Lori Markkinen. We have Lori Markkinen. All right, we have a Dante DiVincenzo. And then we have a Danilo Gillinari. Danilo Gillinari. Not quite sure, but there you go. Do we get? It really just goes to show here in 2021, besides uh, LaBella Ball, LeBron James, and all the other major players, I don't know shit about basketball. As I opened the second, third, and fourth box, I pulled a lot of sweet cards, and for some reason, a lot of LeBron James's. But as I moved on to the fifth and final box and started to open up the packs and still hadn't seen the LaMelo Ball rookie card, I was starting to lose hope. Denny, this guy, Denny, that guy. We have an Express Lane, James Harden, and then a Miles Turner, which is not, again, helping my situation. Devin Booker, my house, then we have a Terry Rogier, Terry Rogier, not what I'm looking for. I, th I think we got it. I'm not. I'm not even gonna look at that last card there, but 
Dante Vincenzo. I swear to God, we better have gotten it. Dante Vincenzo. Davis Burtons. Davis Burtons. We have a Devin Booker. We have a Devin Booker. This guy, splash card and. Oh! Yes! <laughs> Woo! Now we have a Lamella Ball. Purple Shock. Rated Rookie Card. Yes! A Lamella Ball. Rated Rookie. Purple Shock Prism thing. Woo! Now, although finding a Lamella Ball Purple Shock Prism Rookie Card in the final box was exciting, I thought it would be even cooler to actually go to a game and watch Lamella Ball play. And lo and behold, just 11 days after my birthday, the Charlotte Hornets were going to be playing the New York Knicks at Madison Square Garden. So what I did was buy a front row seat right behind the Hornets bench, not only for a pleasurable viewing experience, but also to set myself up for the best possibility to have Lamella Ball. Sign my rookie card. With everything going on in the world today, staying healthy and safe is the top priority. The very next day after I bought my ticket, I saw this news article that said the Mellow Ball had been placed on the NBA's health and safety protocol list due to a COVID illness. But then I realized that article was from a month ago, and I looked at the article above it, and the Mellow Ball was in fact healthy and playing. The next 10 days religiously, I would go on Twitter and like every single one of the Charlotte Hornets tweets, but in the process, keep up on the Mellow Ball status all the way up until he got on the airplane to head to New York City. And at that point, I knew I was in the clear that he was going to play the following day. And that was until the following day when the mellow ball magically disappeared as he wasn't there for the pregame warm-ups and starting lineup introductions. And I thought to myself, F and even as the game started, the mellow ball was nowhere to be seen. I wasn't so much disappointed that the probability of my card getting signed was close to zero, but I was mostly bummed that I wouldn't get to see the mellow ball play basketball or see him whatsoever. So the next logical step was to see how many times I could get my Lamelo ball rookie card on television. And up until this point in time, I have no idea how many times I did. So we're going to find out together. Okay, and that's it. And considering the fact that the first shot was me holding my cell phone, probably three times my card was shown on television. Clear as day. At halftime, I was looking at my phone and wasn't really paying attention to the players warming up. And then all of a sudden, when the buzzer rang, kablam! There was Lamelo Ball right there in front of my face. Where I was lucky enough with these eyeballs to see Lamelo Ball take one shot, a three-pointer, to where boom goes the dynamite. Swish. I was sitting next to a father with his 10 year old daughter and his 10 year old daughter probably wanted the mellow balls autograph more than I did. And in hindsight, as the mellow ball took that three point shot, that was probably my best opportunity to ask him to sign my card. But because I didn't want to stoop to the level of a 10 year old as a 38 year old man at a sporting event, I 100% totally blew it. And in the process, missed my opportunity by not asking to where wise people once said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Okay, you're on.